it's time for Kelly Pulley's Storybook Studio. Hi, welcome to my Storybook Studio. I'd like to start off this week by sending a big thank you to seven-year-old Eli from Kaneohe, Hawaii. Eli sent me a drawing of Jack the Sailfish that he created himself from a scribble. As you can see, Eli is very talented. I used Eli's drawing as inspiration for this week's Stupendous Story! Okay, let's get started creating. Jack the Sailfish by Kelly Pulley Jack the Sailfish loved swimming fast. He swam fast everywhere he went. He swam fast in deep water. He swam fast in shallow water. Sometimes he swam fast and leaped high out of the water. Mostly Jack liked swimming fast in races. He was the fastest swimmer in school even faster than Barry Barracuda and Tina Tuna, and they were very fast. Everyone loved watching Jack swim. They thought he was amazing. He even had his very own fan club, the Yellowfish Twins. The more he won, the more everyone cheered. The more everyone cheered, the more he began to think he was really something special. He bragged, Look at me! I'm the fastest fish in the sea! Pretty soon, no one cheered for Jack. Not because he always won, but because they didn't like his bragging. Even his fan club stopped cheering for him. Jack thought everyone was jealous, which made him angry. So he bragged even louder. Then, while leading a race, he teased the racers behind. Look at me! I'm the fastest fish in the sea! Kabong! Jack was stopped dead in the water. 
It was several minutes before he even knew where he was. His nose hurt. His dorsal fin hurt. But worse than that, he was ashamed of himself. Now Jack could no longer swim fast. He couldn't even keep up with the slowest fish in school. He limped along by himself, far behind the others, and thought about how badly he had treated them. Jack was sad. May we swim with you? Jack looked up. It was Barry Barracuda, followed by Tina Tuna and the Yellowfish twins. Jack gladly accepted, and then he apologized for acting so awful. Now Jack is better. His nose feels better, his dorsal fin feels better, and he feels happier than ever. When he races, he still usually wins, but he always congratulates the other racers and never, ever brags. Jack no longer swims fast everywhere he goes. Now he likes to slow down and spend time with his friends. He shouts, Look at me! I'm the happiest fish in the sea! And now it's time for Professor Poindexter's preposterous poems. And here is your host, Professor Poindexter. There's a Worm in My Apple by Kelly Pulley. There's a worm in my apple. I should be upset. My tummy's as empty as tummies can get. And that was the last of the apples I had. I suppose that I should be a little bit sad. I took one little bite and then just about cried when I saw the worm squirming and wriggling inside. I gagged <coughs> and I retched <coughs> And I felt myself squirm. Then I angrily shouted, You rotten old worm! But the worm kept on doing the thing it was doing. It just happily, hungrily, kept right on chewing. How dare it behave as if everything's fine? That apple it's hungrily chewing is mine! Then I thought to myself, as I wrote this last verse, finding half of a worm would have been far, far worse. Join us again next week for another of Professor Poindexter's preposterous poems. If you like this video, please subscribe. And if you'd like to send me a scribble, you can email them to kpstorybookstudio at gmail.com. Thanks. See you next time.